One of the most fun parts about being an orthopedic oncologist is utilizing creativity to create function. Bone and soft tissue tumors oftentimes pick difficult locations when it comes to resection and reconstruction. And in children in particular, this can be a challenging puzzle. Children present with these puzzles, forcing the surgical and oncology teams to take into account growth of the extremity, small size of the anatomy, and the parental anxiety that can surround the cancer treatment of their precious loved one. One of the most fun cases that I've ever been involved in was working with a five-year-old who initially presented to me with a large amount of swelling in his right shoulder in his dominant arm, and when he presented, had actually pretty minimal pain. He simply thought his muscles were getting bigger. X-ray imaging suggested a cancer process and biopsy tissue soon followed, suggesting an osteosarcoma. After obtaining all of the important pictures, including an MRI, the patient was immediately started on chemotherapy by our fantastic pediatric oncology team. And after several months of chemotherapy, the new pictures suggested that the tumor was responding nicely to the chemotherapy. Next was my challenge. The challenge of reconstruction was to provide this energetic, fun-loving five-year-old with an arm that allowed his humerus and elbow to serve as a working platform for his hand, while at the same time saving all of the important nerves and blood vessels in his arm and giving him a chance at continuing some form of growth in that arm. Lots of options existed, including custom metal implants, but after brainstorming with our fantastic plastic surgery team, we settled on utilizing something called a free fibula transplant technique. Through an eight-hour surgery, we borrowed the smaller bone from his leg, called the fibula, and after the tumor was successfully removed while sparing all of the important nerves and blood vessels, that fibula was then reconnected back to his arm, utilizing the incredible talents of my plastic surgery partners to restore the blood flow to the fibula. The surgery was successful, and in the early aftermath, almost too successful. At three months, the patient was feeling like himself again, and the real challenge, trying to keep a five-year-old down, began. I failed at this miserably, as my patient found himself sumo wrestling using inner tube tires with his cousins. He fell on his surgical arm at three months, and he broke the fibula just above the plate construct that we had utilized to reconnect his leg bone to his humerus bone. Fortunately, kids are resilient, and we were able to treat this in a custom brace, and soon robust healing was seen. The bone eventually healed in a manner that allowed him to continue function with his arm. He's now four and a half years out from his operation and has full use of his hands and elbow, and he even is able to raise his arm above his head. He continues to have growth, at his arm and in his shoulder locations and remains disease free from osteosarcoma. He's involved in basketball and continues to have an incredible zest and passion for life. These are the stories of what drive me as an orthopedic oncologist. Getting to work with incredible medical and surgical physician partners, solve puzzles, and help travel the journey with each of my patients in a way that few other medical disciplines are allowed. I'm reminded every single day of the gift I've been given in order to be part of stories like this.